हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर प्रदीप कुमारी अ बोर्ड सर्टिफाइड डर्मेटोलॉजिस्ट प्रैक्टिसिंग एट पुणे सिंस लास्ट 15 इयर्स आई ट्रूली बिलीव इन गिविंग लेस मेडिकेशन वेन एवर फिजिबल आई ऑल्सो बिलीव इन फाइंडिंग द रूट कॉज ऑफ अ डिजीज एंड देन ट्रीटिंग इट फ्रॉम देयर रेदर देन जस्ट ट्रीटिंग द सिम्टम्स Hello I am Dr Pradeep Kumari and today we are going to talk about one simple but distressing condition known as pompolix in simple words or common language pompolix means blisters which are happening on hands and feet mainly involving palms and soles in pompolix a person would initially notice small itchy spots developing on the sides of the fingers or toes and then they coalesce or come together to form vesicles which are usually tough and leads to lot of itching after the finger sides or the palm side is involved in severe condition it may involve the entire palm or sole area your doctor may also label pompolix as endogenous vesicular eczema or dyshidrotic eczema or you may also heard terms such as chiropompolix pedopompolix pompolix is common in people who have atopic tendencies people who tend to get dry skin at the beginning of change in season such as monsoon season changing to winters or winters changing to summers people who have atopic dermatitis or sensitive to rashes skin also have a tendency to develop it frequently pompolix can also happen in response to some drugs or infection elsewhere such as fungal infection the main issue with pompolix is that it is disturbing for the patient who gets it in terms of itching so the day to day work of the person suffering from pompolix becomes very difficult at the time of healing of pompolix lesions many a times we would see peeling of the skin happening of palms and soles area so day to day work such as washing of hands working in the kitchen or writing with keyboard or pen becomes difficult because of the fresh sensitive skin coming from beneath the peeled skin once someone has developed pompolix there are certain care parts or preventive parts which a person can follow and make sure that the journey of healing of pompolix is not difficult and the repair process of these sensitive areas is completed fast these precautions involve using mild cleansers or hand washes not doing repeated hand wash using protective or barrier creams before washing the hands or working in situation where the hands may come in contact with irritants such as salt detergents bathing there are barrier creams available where their whole function is to be protecting the area of application these will be easily recommended by your dermatologist to help you deal with repeated hand eczema or pompolix kind of situation a person who is just coming out of a pompolix episode is also recommended to wear gloves if they have to work in kitchen or bathrooms for long time it is important for a person who suffers from pompolix to follow preventive methods or supportive care to ensure that they don't get repeated episodes of pompolix or prevention of repeated episodes for such people it is advisable that at the development of the very first symptom of slight itch they take care that the exposure to irritant chemicals hand washes salts is limited and they start applying more moisturizer beginning or onset of any generalized rash or cold cuff type of infections can also lead to a flare of pompolix episode and they should start medication to reduce or cut down on the spread of such infections in the early course of infection treatment of pompolix 
it's specific to the symptoms and it does not require much in terms of diagnosis the diagnosis is very clear on clinical examination to your doctor treatment part may involve methods to cut down or bring relief in itching followed by healing of the spots or lesions or vesicles or blisters of pompolix followed by preventive care to ensure that the episodes last as short as possible anti itch medications like antihistamines may be prescribed and the frequency can be dependent upon the severity of the episode your doctor also may advise you application of strong anti inflammatory creams such as steroids multiple times a day to help you deal and resolve the pompolix episode faster in patients who suffer from chronic treatment resistant pompolix some advanced methods of treatments can also be applied such as using botulinum toxin for dyshidrotic variant of pompolix meaning people who sweat a lot may benefit by reduction in sweating in these areas another way is to improve the t cell mediated immunity of these areas such as palms and soles and for that your doctor may advise you to undergo eczema sessions